Sure. All their all their hits were on two strikes in that last inning, so um, I'm not I'm not too sure. The first uh, three innings, you were you know you were really pitching well. What was working there, and I guess why did you lose it after that? Um, I think I was attacking the zone. I was getting ahead. Um, yeah, that that fourth inning, they did a really good job with two strike hitting, and um, yeah, they they got me. What can you take from this outing and apply it to your next one? Um, I don't think I really like take too much. I kind of just forget about it, move on to the next, and then we keep doing the same thing that we've been doing. Sometimes it goes your way, sometimes it doesn't. Um, Obviously, the, the the first walk in that fourth inning is, is not a good way to start it, and you kind of build your own luck with that. So, um, yeah, so that's kind of how it went. As an inning like that's playing out, what do you try to tell yourself to get through it and not let it you know blow up into something worse? Um, I think it's just kind of minimize as much as you can, and uh, I try to just kind of let it go. Like, they got those three runs. Like, let's reset. Like, let's get the next guys, and... Um, I, I felt like I was attacking the zone. I was getting ahead. I was getting to two strikes. Um, yeah, they just they just beat me on the two strike in today. Were you seeing from your perspective on that, that relay that almost got the, the first out of the inning? Where you kind of see that relay from your perspective? Uh, it was really close, and um, like I said, baseball goes your way sometimes. Baseball doesn't, and yeah, just take it from there and cut it, forget about it, move on to the next. You've got probably one more start to go. Um, how important is it to you to finish out this year strong, especially given the way that it's all gone for you this year? Uh, it's very important. I'm, I'm going to try to finish strong the best I can, and it all starts with just getting ahead and attacking the zone, being relentless in the zone, and everything will play out how it's supposed to. How would you describe your season overall? It's been a good season. It's been a lot of learning. Uh, definitely just taking everything in, just learning with experience. Um, that's going to come with all the young guys, just playing games and getting out there as much as you can. This is an awesome environment to do it in front of. Um, so, yeah, we'll just take it, keep learning, and everybody's still learning, even the older guys, and everybody's still learning. So, just keep learning. Mira, Quintana es un pitcher ya experimentado con mucho, mucha experiencia, y él sabe cuando está para mí, eh, ya está en su top, y de verdad que, que supo manejarnos, nos tenían engañados, por decirlo así, nos tiraba sin que adentro, sin que para afuera, tiraba, utilizó mucho el cambio, y le hicimos suena a los picheos que él creó. You know, Katana is, is an experienced, you know, veteran pitcher. He knows what he's doing out there, uh, you know, and, and when he's at the top of his form, he, he basically controls the way he pitches every every pitch. You know, he was throwing the two-seamer inside. We were swinging at it outside. We were swinging at it, uh, the change-up. I mean, he was just uh, dominating the zone, and we were swinging at his pitches.